Hello, and welcome to another uh, Pandas Python Learning by Doing, uh, where we get to wa watch a real a real data scientist uh, go through some exercises. Uh, I've never seen these before, so you'll get sort of get my first view on them. I'd go to see if I trip up, where I trip up, and, you, and I'll publicly admit it, oh God. Um, so I hope this will be helpful. I know it's helped people in the past. My data science students in the past have really enjoyed going through these exercises together. So let's, without further ado, let's jump into it. Today, we're doing a filtering and sorting lesson. Again, if you want to sort of learn pandas from the ground up, I've gone ahead and made an excellent sort of opinionated guide to pandas that you can check out up here. Um, please do. It's really, I, I don't do things uh, just to sort of make, I don't make content willy-nilly, I make it because one, I, I'm passionate about it, and two, because it, there's no real content out there that's like it. Um, so please do check it out. But today we're doing the Euro 12. Um, and so the one thing, I've not actually done this before, the one thing I've, I did notice here, we do have a CSV file, it's a small one, it's uh, just a couple of uh, key, uh, kilobytes, uh, but it is in a... Um, a Git repository, it's not the best, generally speaking. You don't want to go ahead and have these in uh, Git repositories, but no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the exercises. So, once we log in, great. So we import the necessary libraries. Almost always, we're just doing pandas um, uh, as pd. Import data from this address. Um, and this is interesting, it's actually inside, the, if you look at where this address is, it actually points to uh, this GitHub repository. So we don't even need to import it from this address. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can always you know, type in an ls. So it's right there. So we can do a uh, pd.readcsv. Uh, and then after that, um, readcsv. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and include it here. Uh, the nice thing about it is we can go ahead and make sure that it is comma separated. It is comma separated. Great. Um, OK, great. So read CSV and DF. Um, we assign it to something called Euro 12. Euro 12 equals DF. I think this is a sports thing. Uh, we, can, we can check it out. Um, I believe. Say, yeah, it's a soccer thing. Um, cool. You know me. The only, the only sport for me is StarCraft. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, so we, we go on. Um, Euro 12, select only the gold column. So Euro 12 dot uh, goal, and is it capitalized? It is capitalized. Goals. Um, that's, that's how you select only this column. Uh, what next? Uh, right, okay, well. How many teams participated in the Euro 2012? Well, we've got team up here. Um, and I mean, I know 16, right? So, but we can just, we can go ahead and do this. So, Euro 12 dot uh, team dot count. Always a good one. 16. Uh, what are the number of columns in the data set? Um, dot shape. You can always give it to you. So, 35 columns. You know, there's a ton of, there's a ton of ways to do this. Um, dot columns dot, can you even do count? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, you just, you want to just do length, 35. Um, view only the, the columns team, yellow cards. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, so you can select multiple columns in, in pandas, again, just by passing um, them, okay, and red cards, great, uh, into uh, an array. So team, uh, yellow cards, uh, and uh, red cards. Okay, so we're looking at penalties. Cool. Um, and assign them all to a data frame called discipline. Ooh, I like that data frame. Um, discipline equals great. Okay. Uh, sort the teams by yellow cards, then, or by red cards, then yellow cards. Great. Um, so let's check out what this looks like. So yellow cards, red cards. So we can go ahead and do uh, sort values as the thing you want. Um, and the nice thing is it's got a buy here, uh, so we'll go ahead and we will do um, uh, and buy is basically we'll take an array. Uh, and you know if you don't know this, you know there's a couple things you can do. You can always Google it. Uh, the second thing you can always do is if you just go in here, you press Shift Tab, and you can go ahead and look down here. Um, so buy it's a list um, to sort by. 
so uh, we will ascending, right, we should do ascending. Um, looks good, so let's go ahead and do this. So, um, we, we can make this descending to go ahead. And, so Greece, obviously, um, order, what is it? It's order, right? I know it's ascending true. So we can just do ascending equals false. Because this is, this is what we want to see. So it looks like Greece, <laughs> one red card, uh, uh, nine yellow cards. So Greece, Poland, and then the Republic of Ireland. It just dirty, dirty, dirty. Uh, and then Italy, and then all the way down to Germany and Denmark, who are just, just immaculate. Um, so I don't know too much about soccer. So I, I could just be talking, talking just nonsense. Uh, calculate the mean uh, yellow cards given per team. That's pretty easy. So we just do, uh, we'll use discipline. Um, we grab the yellow cards, yellow uh, cards, and then we just do the dot mean. Pretty simple. So 7.4. Uh, filter teams that scored, uh, filter teams that scored more than six goals. So we want to go ahead and just grab teams that scored more than six goals. So Euro 12. Um, dot uh, goals uh, greater than uh, six, um, and this would be uh, okay. Well, that that's 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 what it is, um, and we can go ahead and select this. Okay, so these are the teams that scored. So Germany and Spain were the only ones that scored more than six goals. It's a little bit unfortunate. I, I don't know whether this is the full tournament or whether this is. Um, yeah, this is the full tournament, or whether it's not, so, uh, or whether it's just sort of one game in the tournament, because these guys are probably the ones that um, won, right? I mean, because they scored the most goals, uh, they probably had the most games, so it just sort of makes it easy. Uh, select teams that start with G, so always a really good thing you can do here. Um, you can do teams, uh, and you can use the, in pandas, there's this dot star, there's just a ton of functionality here. So starts with is one of these things that we can use, and we can just Go ahead, find those that start with G. Um, oh, so copy, let's do this. So there's Germany and Greece. Select the first seven columns. Oh, this is a great one here. So you guys can think about how you would do this. Um, uh, so iLock is generally sort of like the, the go-to one when you're looking for this type of operation. Uh, we want to get all the rows. And then we want to get just the first seven columns. So it goes to the first, first seven columns, I believe. Dot shape. You can check. Yep, that's the first seven columns. Um, so this will go ahead. That's the first seven columns. Pretty simple. All the rows. Um, select all the columns except the last three. So it's basically asking us to do some iLock exercises. iLock is basically a way to select things based on their index. So you, you can sort of select columns based on their index location, as in sort of 0, 1, 2, 3. Four. Um, so select all except for the last three. So we just go all the way to the last three, I believe. It's always, um, oh, right, so last three. Um, always a good one. And then let's just make sure that this is right. You know, you off by one is very common. So yeah, that's great. All but the last three. Perfect. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, Present only the shooting accuracy of England, uh, Italy, and Russia. So again, just sort of asking us to do some displays. Let's make sure this last three was correct. How many columns are there? 35 columns. Great. Um, so present the shooting accuracy of England, Italy, and yada yada. Okay. Great. So, oh, so da da uh, shooting accuracy. Oh, let's uh, let's dot head. Um, what is the shooting? So it's just shooting accuracy. Okay. So, uh, so again, dot lock is your friend here. Um, you could do this all in a little bit of a, a different way, um, but, oh, uh, we can't actually use lock in this case. Uh, what we could do here, we can do this. Uh, we can set the index to the uh, team column uh, uh, in place, in place equals true. Uh, check this out. So now team is this. And so now we can do dot lock. And what lock will allow you to do is select the indexes that you're interested in. So, um, right. So we've got England. We've got 
what is it? England, Italy, and Russia. Italy. Um, and then Russia. I could be wrong here. I'm, I'm not sure if we can actually pass an array into lock, but we will see. So, okay, well, let's, let's try this out. Um, and then let's go ahead and just get the shooting accuracy. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah, well, so that, see, that's pretty easy, right? Um, so you can go ahead, England, Italy, Russia, just the shooting accuracy. And it's also, for a reader, someone that's reading this, uh, it's very easy to sort of just read it and understand what's going on. Okay, I hope this is sort of giving you a little bit of an intuition for what a data scientist would do. Now, if you're interested, let's go through the solutions. Um, exercises with solutions, sweet. Old computer. Um, so we import, they import it directly from the uh, address, totally fine. Selecting goals, easy. Yep. Number of teams, shape one, number of columns, they use info. Info is always something great to do on your data sets. Uh, select these columns, assign them to discipline, did the exact same thing. We shorted values, yep, ascending false, great, Greece, Poland. Uh, calculate the mean number of yellow cards per team, so they rounded, totally fine. Instead of 7.4, they just got 7. Uh, find more golds greater than 6, Germany and Spain. Starts with G, great. Uh, they did iLock. Perfect. Um, yep, they did another I lock, another perfect. Um, and so they did, this is the other way to do it. They went ahead and did is in, um, instead of uh, making one of these things the index. So totally fine. Um, yeah, oh, and they included team. Well, yeah, that's because they didn't include the index. So this is totally fine. I personally like this way of doing it. It's actually much more readable in this case. Uh, than this one. It's a little bit long. It's it's not 100% easy to understand what's going on. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, if you have, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know what exercises you would like me to do next because more are coming at you. And thanks from Data Talks.